Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. How does this make sense? Senator Dianne Feinstein, a very liberal senator, says no law Congress could have passed would have prevented the Las Vegas shooter, Stephen Paddock, from waging his attack. But what? At the same time, Senator Feinstein is pushing for hard gun control legislation in Congress? How does that make sense? This is why I could never be a Democrat. Feminists cry, hashtag hands off my birth control. But when we take our hands off and hand you the responsibility to pay for your own birth control, you pretend we're oppressing you. How does that make sense? This is why I could never be a Democrat. Men are inherently sexist, liberals claim, predisposed to be rapists if we don't beat the masculinity out of them. But you know what? Let's put girls on Boy Scout sleepovers because boys and girls, really, how different are they after all? How does that make sense? This is why I could never be a Democrat. If NFL players who kneel during our national anthem and refuse to face the flag are heroes for using their platform, then why didn't you praise Vice President Pence for using his platform when he walked out of the Indianapolis Colts game when the players dissed our country? How does that make sense? This is why I could never be a Democrat. Feminists want women to tweet hashtag me too if you've ever been sexually harassed or sexually assaulted. But do you see any of those same feminists standing up for conservative commentator Dana Lash who was forced to move out of her home thanks to threats by gun control maniacs who disagree with her? How does that make sense? This is why I could never be a Democrat. When it took President Trump one day to disavow KKK member David Duke, the media declared Trump to be a white supremacist too. But five days for Hillary Clinton to condemn abuse of women by Harvey Weinstein, who bundled a million and a half dollars for Hillary's campaign, five days before she said he was wrong? To Democrats, that's no big deal. How does that make sense? See, here's the thing. When you contradict yourself, that means you have no principles. When you have no principles, you'll say anything to try to get people to vote for you. When you have no principles, all you want is power and money. You can tell when liberal politicos only want power and money because they constantly contradict themselves in an effort to make people feel guilty enough to donate money to them and vote for them. That's why nobody wants to be a Democrat. And that's my final point tonight. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.